One of the things the founders were very conscious of is how difficult it is to establish and sustain a political regime that is, a, it is going to be a, a free regime, a free, a free a regime of freedom. Uh, John Jay in Federalist Two points out that, a, uh, that Americans really do belong together, not just because they hold the same political principles, and he does mention that, but also because they are, quote, a people descended from the same ancestors, speaking the same language, professing the same religion, attached to the same principles of government, very similar in their manners and customs. And Jay's point partly was, if it hadn't been for all those things we already had in common prior to forming the union, we might not have been able to do it. Liberty is only possible to be established in the founders' minds if the people are capable of supporting liberty and living according to the requirements of liberty. There are many cultures in the world today, and there were then too, where the people who live in these places don't like freedom and have no experience of freedom. The founders, in fact, doubted openly whether places like Latin America or even some places in Europe could ever maintain a regime of political freedom. Uh, natural rights belong to everyone in the founders' view, but it, you have the right Obviously, you have the right to create a free country, but you don't always have the ability to. It depends on who lives there and what their attitudes are and how good their leadership is. Um, in some cases, the founders pointed out, you can't have consent of the governed if you're going to have any kind of protection of the rights of the individual. Uh, there was a revolution in Haiti that took place during the 1790s. And people in the founding were saying, they're not going to be able to have a free government there. They're not going to have elect. You can't have an elective government in Haiti. Probably a military despotism is the best they're going to do. That was a quote from Hamilton. And uh, Jefferson held the same view when he was asked about Latin America in the, 18, in the 1820s. He said, look, this is a place that's going to be really difficult to form any kind of uh, solid, uh, lasting free government there. I hope they can do it, he said. They ought to. They deserve it. But it's going to be tough. The founders had answers as to how to keep the population morally capable of being free. They didn't think it would work everywhere, but they did think it would work here. I'll talk about that later in the series.